Yo, what's good guys? Um your boy Jason JV here. Um with a very uh, uh very somber uh vlog video if you will. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if you guys can hear my voice, but um yeah. Boy has shed quite a bit of tears. Um and I don't know if you can see it on my face, but I'm also having trouble sleeping. Um so I end up calling off from work tonight <clears throat> you know because um, I don't know if you guys saw the community posting or if you saw my Facebook post um, but yeah unfortunately I lost um, a family member a cousin who um, is like a brother to me you know what I mean um, this is one of the few family members that I was really really super close to you know especially when we were kids <clears throat> You know, you guys know too about my history with my family. You know, I mean, I, I pretty much let, let it be known on here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, my, my cousin Robert, he uh, we, we, we found out just yesterday, uh, which was July the 1st. Yeah, yesterday being uh, Saturday, July the 1st, um, I was getting ready for work. And my, my father uh, basically told me that uh, um, they, they found my cousin's body. Uh, at a homeless camp um, <clears throat> and apparently he had, he had passed um, sooner than we all think um, I just I just got more updates from from my mom before she had went to work so apparently the uh, story is that my, my cousin was at a homeless camp and they basically found his body um, it was already, um, starting to decompose when they, when they found him at the time. And according to doctors who inspected the body, um, they're, they're saying that he had been gone for possibly well over a month. Um, and what could have led to, uh, his, his death was something heart related, um, I guess, his heart gave out on him or something. Um, I'm not, I'm not capping on my cousin. I'm not disrespecting my cousin by any means, but my cousin was not at the time. He was not in, in the, in the best of shape. He was not in the best of health. Um, so, uh, yeah. So yeah. So it, it's not a surprise to me that they said that his heart, you know, it gave out. And then, um, something that I, I've, found suspect about it though was that they said that his foot um apparently one of his feet were was was burned so i can't necessarily say if there was some foul play involved or if it was self-inflicted or it was natural causes i i can't say and i'm not assuming anything because obviously i wasn't there so i i don't know for sure what happened all we know is just that uh, is it's just what what the what the doctors have told us you know uh, his foot was burned, his heart gave out, so who knows, maybe, maybe it was just that, maybe it was just his heart gave out, and he happened to be near a fire or something, and and he just happened to catch his foot in the fire or something, um, you know, but, uh, this really sucks, because like I said, my, my cousin Robert, man, he, he was like a brother to me, as I mentioned, you know, and I'm not taking shots at my my, my my brother, um, I love my brother. It's just that my cousin Rob and I, we just had that that bond that was different. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> you know, we, we we were just that tight, and I think it was because he and I we were closer in age. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> that's why I think I feel like I'm not saying it that the uh, bond between me and him is better than the bond that I have with my brother. Like I said, I love my brother, you know, with all my heart. It's just, it's just, it's just different. You know what I mean? Um, because I mean, me and him, we did so much together. You know, we played video games together. I remember us playing Nintendo together, Super Nintendo. You know what I mean? Because we were, we were both really into video games. You know, um, <clears throat> he would stay over at our house. I would always stay over at his house. You know, um, during the summertime, um, they had a, a swim. My, my aunt and uncle had a swimming pool in their backyard so you know i would be over there a lot during the summertime going swimming 
you know, with, with my cousin Rob, <clears throat> you know, um, then we would, you know, get into water balloon fights and stuff like that, uh, bike ride around the neighborhood and everything, you know, so yeah, definitely had some good times and I'm definitely going to carry those good times with me for the rest of my life, without a doubt, and um, it sucks, it really does, man, this one really hurt, you know, because um, I can't help but feel you know, guilty to a degree for him not being here because I can't help but, but, but feel like, man, if I hadn't been, if I'd have been so much smarter about things, if I'd have been so much aware about things, you know, and start doing what I was doing even sooner, you know what I mean? There would have been no doubt in my mind that, you know, I would have been, um, established enough to where, um, to where I, I could have my own spot. And I would have had a spare bedroom with that dude's name on it. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he was he was he was one of the few family members that never switched up on me, man. It didn't matter what my views were. It didn't matter what my opinions were. It didn't like none of that stuff. It was all that stuff was just noise. What what mattered to he and I the most is where we stood with each other. You know what I'm saying? He knows I love him unconditionally, and I know he loves me unconditionally. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> I, I would go to bat for that dude. I would, you know, go above and beyond for that dude. The The last time I saw him, um, I want to say it was over a year ago. Um, this was when I was still doing security at the dump site. Um, he was in my, my neck of the woods because <clears throat> um, he was meeting with, uh, well, his now widow. And... Um, the less said about her, the better. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it with that. Um, <clears throat> and I guess he was supposed to get bus money from her or whatever. Cause, and the only reason he was seeing her was because they have a kid together. So that was the only reason. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to get bus money from her. And I guess something happened. He couldn't get the bus money. And so I told him, well, look, dude, why don't you just catch a ride with me? Because um, I'm about to go to work. And uh, I can't take you all the way into town, but I could take you close to town because where I, where I worked at the time, it was close to where um, he was trying to get to. And uh, <clears throat> so that's what we did. Um, and he had arranged for my uncle to come pick him up and whatnot. And that was it, man. That was, that was the last time I saw him. Just, you know, meeting him, driving like towards my work, and then I dropped him off at a nearby gas station close to my work. Um yeah that, that was the last time I saw him and that will always be like my last memory of him which is very unfortunate um cause like I said man I, it, it sucks because I wish I was in a better position to where I could have done more for him and that's something I'm gonna carry with me for the rest of my life you know cause like I said man that dude damn it man I'm gonna start to break down here on camera that dude, like I said, he, that was my brother. That dude, that dude, that he, man, he's done, he's done a lot for me. And I, and I did everything that I could for that dude, you know, to try, try to help him get, you know, turn things around. sucks because um he, dude had a you know dude dude um it's not perfect by any means he's made his fair share of mistakes um you know he he was a part of that that street life but thank god he was able to grow out of that street life and was able to get his life together he had a well-paying job you know he did uh landscaping for for a living was making good money you know was able to get um his own spot you know, and, and provide for his family. You know what I mean? It was a hardworking dude. So for my sake, I, I forgive his widow. I mean, out of respect for him, and for my sake, I, I forgive the widow 
for the role that she played because I feel like she played a huge role in him not being here anymore and I was going through a whole array of array of emotions man just anger more so towards myself because again I wish I was in a position to really be there for him you know because like I said I would have had a, I would have had a spare room for him you know what I mean for as long as he needed it you know, because, like I said, dude, dude was one of those dudes, you know what I mean, that never changed up on me, you know, always had my back, and to the best of my ability, always had his back, you know, that dude showed me what it truly means to love somebody unconditionally, and there, there's never going to be nobody, nobody like him ever again. Dude did not deserve to go out the way he did. But, uh, Primo, I know you're watching this, man. Um, I just want to tell you that I love you. You know what I mean? Um, I never doubted you. I know what kind of man you really are. You know what I'm saying? And I know that God has a special place in heaven with you. And you're with some good company. And I'm sorry, man, that I couldn't I couldn't have done more than I, what I was able to for you. I just want you to know that, you know, had I had my own spot, had I had a spare room, spare bed, no, that, that would have been yours. <clears throat> and yeah, I just want to tell you that I, I love you, bro, and I always cherish the good times, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all I got to say, guys. Uh, it's your boy, Jason JV, checking out. Uh, catch y'all next one. All right, peace.